Hey, good morning everybody. It's Mark from Mark and Michelle. How's it going? Today, I want to talk to you about consistency. Or about doing little things every day and seeing results over a long period of time. Right? I was, this was, it made me think about this. Was a, I was watching my daughter. Unbeknownst to her, I was kind of looking over her shoulder when I'm not supposed to do that. Dad, stop! Get out! Get out! Get out! If you have a teenager, you know what that means. Um, but she's, she plays this game online, and I want to say it's called Flight Rising. And it's just and, and she, about a year ago she uh, showed it to me, and I actually played it for a little while. But you know, it, it was my thing. It was more of her thing. It's about you know, dragons. Building up a, uh, a clan of dragons and making them stronger and giving them weapons and going to battles. And it's it's, not, it's a role-playing game, is what it is, uh, which I, I love to play. I just didn't have any time to, to really get into it. But anyway, I was looking over her shoulder and I saw she was on level like 10,000 or something like that. And I'm thinking, I'm like, how, how much do you play that? I even asked her, I said, do you play that a lot? She was, uh, I only log in like 10, 15 minutes a day and, you know, make sure all my dragons are, are fed and optimized and, you know, all the little things and make them stronger and make them, uh, you know, level up, get better, get to the next level. And it made me think, you know, if she's only doing this a couple minutes a day, but she's been doing it consistently for the past at least a year. Probably more than a year, but uh, you know, it, why not apply that to our lives? You know, it became a habit for me just to log in, and do a thing, and log out. You know, I'm reading a book called The Miracle Morning by uh, Hal Elrod, and he talks about creating habits. And, you know, a lot of people say it takes 21 days to create a habit. You know, everybody's got their own view on that. Say it takes you know, 30 days. You know, the first 10 days, you have to really force yourself to do it. You have to, you know, grit your teeth and just get through it. You know, the second 10 days is a little more bearable. It's not so bad. You know, you, know, you got to do it. It's still not fun, depending on your habit, of course. Um, he said, but those that 21st day to the 30th day is when the magic happens. Unfortunately, most of us have already stopped before we get to that point. It would be correlated to uh, him starting running and his friend pushing him. You know, why not run a marathon? And then, you know, this guy said he hadn't run you know, since he was a kid chasing you know, his friends out around the block. But all of a sudden, he's thinking, you know, I can't run a marathon. So if you do a little bit each day, within a month, he was running six miles a day. And within the same year, he ran an ultra marathon because he kept doing it every day. He kept building up his strength a little bit every day, a little bit more every day. And that's what it takes. And they've been preaching that to us on our team since we started. And, you know, <laughs> you're right, Michael, Alex, John, you're right. Absolutely right. Uh, not going to make any excuses. Not going to say a word about it. But, uh, that's what it takes. Just those little actions every day to put it until they become a habit. Habits become a uh, success. Habits, good habits lead to success. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So start, you know, with something little, but stick with it every day. I make these videos every day. So that's my uh, my thought for the day. We're talking to talk about. Uh, successes and that's what it is creating habits leads to successes so i will talk to you tomorrow have a great day create some habits create some have good habits stick with them don't give up i'll see you on see you on the other side see you on the inside take care